Welcome one and all to a very special review of Havana Club Rum, Puerto Rican Rum. So it's got the name Havana Club, but it's Puerto Rican Rum. We'll get into that in a little bit. But also, it's Añejo Blanco. For those who know anything about tequila, that's an unusual classification. Añejo Blanco. But so, folks, this is a recipe created in Cuba. Every bottle of Havana Club starts with the finest sugar cane molasses. The rum rests for at least one year in oak barrels as the Caribbean weather of Puerto Rico works its magic. We employ a double aging process, achieving a bold and sumptuous taste with a smooth finish. The Arch Archibala family founded their company and built their first distillery in Cardenas, Cuba in 1978. Decades later, this family of rum makers would be forced to flee during the Cuban Revolution. Precious recipes in hand. After years of controversy, this well-kept treasure has been dusted off once again for crafting this incomparable rum in Puerto Rico. The family crest continues to grace Havana Club rum as a reminder of the tenacious and passionate Cuban spirit that inspired it. Neat. Neato burrito. And so that's how it is in Añejo Blanco. There you go, folks. There we go. Mm, okay. Definitely pick up some ethanol here. Like, you definitely get ethanol uh, very heavy here. Honestly, like, it, you know that this is made of molasses, but... The nose does give you a lot of tequila qualities. I don't know how else to quite put it. Just It doesn't smell like molasses. It smells like sugar. Uh, that's what uh, it really smells like when I'm taking a nose of this. Like just simple syrup and alcohol, if that makes sense. So, interesting. All right, well... Enjoy. The palate reflects that, uh, to be honest. Um, it dissipates quickly. It's sugary. It's sweet. But boy, I mean, it's just very minimal. Uh, I don't know how else to put it. Like the, it dissipates on your tongue. It doesn't leave toffees. It's just sugar sweet. I don't know how else to put it. That it's just a good sugar. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. Almost has like that familiar sting of uh, Blanco tequila or even some vodka after the uh, sugar dissipates. So hmm. now we get to the interesting part, the grading. Now, for those who don't know, I grade on a five-star scale. Five meaning you have to have it before you shuffle off this mortal coil. Zero meaning pass it on by. The KOE Nation has advised you well. So we're going to grade this on a few scales. We're going to grade this as a Caribbean rum. We're going to grade this as a rum. We're going to grade this as a Cascade Spirit. It's shelving. And then for those new to the show, the secret fifth question. So as a Caribbean rum, I am going to give this uh 2.5 it's just a good serviceable caribbean rum it's right in the middle there it can work in any cocktail you want it to and i've used it for several cocktails and it works amazingly uh i actually used this to make a punch romaine and it was perfect uh this would actually be my go-to for making the punch romaine but we'll get to that later um, as a rum, that's kind of where I think of cocktails more. That's why I'm going to give this three stars as a rum. Um, excellent, excellent stuff for cocktailing. So this one, and it doesn't really break the bank either. Uh, this one I got on sale for just a little over $20. Um, 
Then as a cask aged spirit, to be honest, you don't get much here. I'm going to give it two stars as a cask aged spirit because it's barely one. It's they even call it an añejo blanco, but I have to call it as I see it and cask aged and I'm going to give it two stars. Um, in terms of shelving, this is a bottom shelf easy reacher, so you can definitely have yourself a good evening mixing it. Uh, in terms of will I buy this rum again, which is the secret fifth question, yes, I will, because it's just a great mixer. It's going to be my go-to mixing rum for any kind of complex cocktails. This is the one to go for. It's very simple in its flavor but it really lets your sweeteners and everything else do it, uh, what it needs to do. Like for this uh, cocktail I made of Pusser's rum and peach juice, the rum overpowered the juice. But every time I've mixed this with peach juice, the peach is the most uh, powerful thing. So folks, this has been my review of Havana Club Rum. Thanks for joining me for that one, folks. Just if I ever get out. back, tell you what I'll do. If I ever get back, I promise to refabricate you. Raging rivers of gold. That's what the brochure advertised. And now we're lost. We gotta take it down. Let you down slow. It's hard to survive. Nice. El Dorado. Oh, Lord. Well, let's see how that one went. Yeah.